Hey folks, a uh, quick video to show you how to update the firmware slash software on your LED power module. To do this, we're going to need just a couple tools. First one's going to be a uh, Phillips screwdriver with a small to medium head on it. Second piece is going to be a firmware slash software updater module, which we will send you via mail. To uh, expedite the process, you could also use a uh, automatic drill with a small to uh, medium Phillips head screwdriver on it. Uh, just make sure if you do use the drill that you're really careful not to uh, strip the heads off of the screws when you remove them. So to start, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, remove the end plate on the opposite side of the lamp cord. To do that, you need to remove all the screws that are in the end plate. Now that we've got the uh, end plate removed, just want to uh, slide out the uh, middle silver metal section on the fixture itself. When you do this, be really careful not to uh, catch on any of the fans or any of the wires that are below it. Um, also be careful to, as you pull it out, to support it, because um, it is a flimsy, a little bit flimsy piece of metal, and uh, if you're not careful, it will bend. And then uh, lay it down, make sure you do lay it down with a flat surface. Um, again, it is uh, pretty thin metal, so if it's, if it's laid over an edge or something, it could bend over its, itself and, uh, and cause a problem for it. Next step is going to be uh, to actually update the firmware slash software on the uh, LED boards themselves. You want to start with uh, LED board number one. This will be the board that's actually closest to the lamp cord on the fixture itself. It will also be marked with the number one on itself. What you want to do, grab the uh, updater module. The updater module itself has a uh, little dongle on it. It's got six little prongs on it. You want to match those up to the six little pull ports that are on the actual LED circuit itself. Also, in terms of orientation, the dongle is marked with a little bit of a red piece of tape. That piece of tape wants to be, or should be facing away from you. Go ahead and push that, or put that into the actual LED board itself. Now, it is important to actually hold it there to make good contact uh, with the actual circuit board itself. Next step, you're going to actually go to the module itself. You're going to use the up and down arrows to scroll until you see LED cluster number one. Once you see cluster number one, hit the red yes button one time. It will then check to make sure it's making good contact. It will then get you a message that says, press yes to program target. You will then hit yes again, or the red button. It will then go through a programming mode, and it will actually tell you at the very end, operation complete, OK. The actual green button will then flash and say, yes, it's passed. At that point, you've updated cluster number one. Next step is to uh, update the firmware on cluster number two. Again, it is marked with a uh, Sharpie. It should say number two on it. Go ahead and insert the dongle the same way as you did with cluster number one. You then want to uh, exit out of the operation complete OK screen by just hitting the red button one time. Then you're going to scroll up and down. Make sure you see cluster number two. Again, number two should match the number on the board itself. Hit the red button one time. It'll check. Then it'll say press yes to program target. Hit yes one more time. It'll run through the update itself. And again, at the very end, it'll say operation complete OK and the green button under pass or above pass will flash. You've now updated cluster number two. If you have a larger fixture, you would repeat the same process with cluster number three, making sure you select cluster number three for number three and cluster number four for number four. Just also want to show you quickly, too, in case you do get a fail message when you're uh, trying to program the clusters. Um, in this case, I'm trying to program cluster number two. I'm going to go ahead and hit yes once I've selected cluster two, and then I'm going to hit yes to program to target itself. Hit yes one more time, and it says red button flashes fail, and it says cannot enable program mode. In this case, I made a couple errors. The first one is that I don't have the dongle inserted in the correct orientation. Again, the red tape on the dongle needs to be oriented away from you, so I'm going to go ahead and rotate that up. The second thing I did wrong is that I didn't actually uh, press gently against the dongle itself. Again, it needs to make good contact with the board itself. So again, you don't need to put a lot of pressure on there, but you do need to put a little bit of pressure with your finger, and it will. Uh, Again, make better contact with it then. To exit out of fail mode, just hit the red yes button. Again, select your right number cluster, cluster number two in this case. Yes one time. Press yes to program target. Yes. It will then go through, completion operation okay, and it did pass. So that time I did the update it correctly. After you've got the uh, firmware slash software updated on all the uh, circuit boards, 
Next thing you want to do is uh, insert your silver uh, metal cover back into the middle of the fixture itself. Before doing that though, do make sure that all the wires are flat. As I can see here, this one blue wire is sticking up a little bit. It really needs to be kind of tucked back down in there real well, or it could catch on the, uh, on the middle sheet as you slide it back in. Also make sure all the fan wires are tucked back in as well. Everything looks pretty good. Go ahead and grab the uh, middle piece. Again, support it you know, with a couple hands just so it doesn't bend on itself. It's gonna go into the very top little tray itself or groove in the actual top of the fixture. And again, gently slide it in. The uh, end which does, does not have any uh, fan slots. It's typically gonna go towards the lamp cord end because that's what's gonna be covering actually all the circuitry at the very end of the fixture itself. Um, also, the uh, fan holes themselves should line up obviously with the fans themselves. So again, just gently slide it in. If you do at pointy point, feel something, you know, get stuck or tug, you know, definitely go check it out. Again, you don't want to grab any wires and, uh, you know, damage them or pull them or pull them out. Obviously that could cause some other additional issues for you. At the very end, it's a little tight, but again, fans should line up with the holes themselves as they do here. Last thing to do would be to put the end plate back on. To start, I just like to put them on hand tighten and I like to start with the edges first just so I can support the end plate real well. So I'll put the first two in the outside top here. Once that's done, I'll grab my uh, Phillips head screwdriver or my drill and uh, put all the rest of them back in there. And that'll do it. If you have any additional questions, certainly feel free to contact us at ATINorthamerica.com or customercare at ATINorthamerica.com.